Hey guys, welcome to our very first feeding video. Now I'm excited to bring you guys this because I've been planning for so long, but I just couldn't get any good recordings. But here we are now. We'll be feeding all our slings, including our juvenile tarantula, and hope you guys like it. Enjoy! So today we'll feed them pinna crickets. This is my little setup that's been thriving for two weeks now. If you guys want me to make a video about it, just let me know. Alright, so starting off we have our natochromatis, our Brazilian red and white. I hope he takes this. Oh, that was nice. Very nice. Just look at it. It's stuffing its face. So cute. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, is our very first tarantula, our Brachypelma amori, uh, the Mexican red knee. Let's see if it eats. Although the abdomen is looking very plump, so it could be in pre -molt. But let's try. No? You don't want it? Yeah, the abdomen looks very dark, so it is in pre -molt. So I'm just going to take this cricket out. If this cricket lets me. Alright. Well, I guess I'm excited since it means it's going to molt soon. I hope. So, yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, right here, we got our Lasiodora difficilis, the Brazilian red bird eater. Let's see if it'll eat for us. I think this might be in pre because if you take a look at the abdomen, it's like plump and kind of dark. Look at that cricket. <laughs> well, it's in pre guys. That's a bummer. All right, I guess we'll move on to the next one. All right, so right over here, we got our Chromatopelma cyaneopibescens, the GVB tarantula. Bam, just like that, nice and quick. This one never refuses any food at all. That's what I like about him. Let's watch that one more time. That always gets me. I'm actually very tempted to buy more of these guys because I love their color changes from sling to adulthood. It's just amazing. And I hope to see that in ours one day. All right, so moving on, we got our Samopeus Cambridgei, the Trinidad Chevron. Let's see if it eats. Sorry if it's a little blurry, just out of focus. Boom, that was a quick one. The cricket didn't even have enough time to react. That was pretty fast. All right, so moving on, we got our Neo Holotheli Insei, the Trinidad Dwarf Olive. I'm actually pretty happy with the way I put the uh, sticks as anchor points. I'm very excited to see her web up the whole place. I'm actually very impressed with the takedown. It was just waiting and waiting and then boom, he just got it. All right, moving on to our Terranopelma sazimai, the Brazilian blue. Okay, wow. The speed when it turned around and bite that cricket. It was very impressive. 
Let's see if we can watch it in a different angle. Yep, that was amazing. Okay, right over here is our Aegeniculata and our Katsumiri Argentinense. I don't know how to pronounce that name, I'm sorry. But I'm just going to give them chopped up mealworms because I think they're too small to take on live prey. So for now, until they get bigger, they'll eat this. This is my Salmopeus Armenia enclosure. Uh, as you can see, I put a mealworm there and she's made a dirt curtain actually. So I, she may be in pre-molt, I'm not sure, but she hasn't gone out in a long time. So I just left a dead mealworm there. Hopefully she eats it. If not, then I'll take it out the next morning. Same for the smaller guys. So yeah, that's all for them. So anyways guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more of this content. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!